Yeah, that's the one! Let's do it. Now, if you know me in the channel, you know I love to do 10 minute drop challenges. They're just so versatile, you can do it on whatever EDM subgenre you want to do. They're kind of like a really quick how to make the genre in 10 minutes type of thing. It's just so much fun, it's easy to edit, and they always seem to be a banger of a video. So when I had this suggestion, I was like, fuck yeah, let's do another 10 minute drop challenge. I'll only limit myself to all of these songs. Yo, honestly, there were so many. I think there was over 800, and it's not even all of my old songs as well. So I'm purely going to sample all these old ones. I can't use any VST instruments. I can only use these tracks and audio effects, and I think that should be it. This is gonna be real interesting. Since it's 10 minutes, I literally might do the approach of drag one in, uh, find a sample, just use that, drag another one in. I have honestly, <laughs> I've forgotten how most of these sounds. I mostly did dubstep back in the day, and I know I always stuck to 140 BPM, so this could make my life kinda easy. Old school dubstep, just gonna start to chain the shit out of everything, maybe chuck some OCT, help us out, and go from there, who knows? Time to starts in three, two, one, start. Uh... Oh, beautiful. This is why I love hard styles. Drum intros for the days. No, this is drum and bass. What am I talking about? No, I don't want that. Can I steal this for something? Too bad, I'm doing it. Uh, did I listen to si Oh my. This sounds like it's old school dubstep. Or my old school dubstep anyway, that I made. Burn it, we can sample that. So much modern talking. Oh my goodness. Oh, was there a kick in there? Yes. Get in. So the kick's not long enough. Oh, they're definitely not gonna do a part to it listening to my old music. Some of them are trash. Oh, that's a solid intro. This could be the drums for our dubstep ting. Please be 140. Oh, I actually like this song, sick. Oh, we don't have time to listen to it though. Oh, can we do an old school chase instead? If I can find an old sub, I'm tempted to do like old school chase instead, it's kind of like that. But it's not going to be DMB, it will be dubstep. Alright, better start than last time. This time I was by a, no, this time last 10 minute drop challenge that I definitely didn't include in this video. I included a few seconds anyway. But yeah, I was probably freaking out already, but like, oh, I don't know what I can sidechain. Um, Okay, if we can use that very shitty kick, low pass it, and use the high end of this kick, it might be decent. No, 
I definitely didn't grab the start of the sample then. Actually, that's not too bad of a kick. I'm hoping layered with this, it sounds good. Oh, what am I doing? I said I was going to low pass. <laughs> like, why is there so much high end? I'm going to have to limit the high end as well. Oh, this kick sounds trash now. Okay, now we're gonna have to do some magic warping. Hopefully that lead won't throw us completely out of time. Um... If we can get a good looping point, I reckon that'd be sick. Emphasis on the sick. No, that's pitching up. So I want, I think that's okay. And that would be our clap. I feel like I've sampled two songs here. And then where is that kind of thing I sampled? Is it a kick? That's another kick. That's a better kick, I think. Um, don't want that, so I will mute that. That's a fun little trick I've been doing recently, muting samples that I don't want, that I could possibly want later. So I think it's zero on all keyboards. That's sounding okay. <laughs> Big emphasis on the okay. Uh, I feel like I'm running out of time already. We need some mint sub bass and then I reckon that could be the basis of something. <gasps> There's our old school dubstep bass. It's buried in between the modern talking. Okay, does it match this key? No, it's gonna have to be pitched up or down. Tones. I think it's slightly out of time. Like, it needs to be... Shit, how do I do this? How do I move... How do I move it? Loop?
shit out of it, if I'm honest, and hopefully that disguises many things. No, it's sounding trash. What have I done to it? I might just do some crafty warping. I feel like the time is about to run out in like two seconds. Thank goodness for warp points. Not there? Getting there. This is kind of like some old school mountain team. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! But we're going 20 minute drop challenge. We're just getting started. Maybe yeah, we'll do another 10 minutes because th this is sounding old school dubstep AF. It's got a heaps of potential. Didn't know warping was gonna take so long. It's just it is what it is. All right, three, two, one, start. Second longest waiting minute. No, 10 minutes. I wish I knew the exact starting point. That's not bad. Maybe this was good for the top end, this is good for the low end. We need some break from the wee 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 wee. Can we create some textures with this with um echo maybe? Echo is hit and miss. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. Um but no, that's gonna be the pattern. But we definitely want it before the side chain. Uh, let's check a random preset and vintage delay. We're throwing back to 2010. We definitely want that vintage sound. Unless we like mute that second half. I didn't even know if that's the right note. I think like there's two competing bases here. Consolidate that, because that's our baseline now. Ooh! Oh, when bases collide. And then we make this white. Oh, this is so Mount Eden. Shout out if you've listened to Mount Eden back in the day. Sierra Leone, uh, Still Alive, uh, and many other classics. Uh, this is kind of their sound. Mount Eden is funnily enough, 20 minutes drive away from me. Not, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. We're, we're in the same town, but I've never met the dudes.
Do you know what Mount Eden didn't have back in the day? OTT. <laughs> Can't go wrong with OTT. How are we doing for this second lot of 10? Okay, we've got six minutes to go. We can definitely make waves with that. Um, I didn't even know what I was going to do with OTT. Shout out to Pick 2, providing all the inspirations. Uh, I'm going to warp that, complex that, loop that. Let's find some other juicy parts of the tune. That could be something cool. Um, Sidechain. I feel like that's out of key. Why did I have to do conflicting keys back in the day? That's sick, with delay, heaps of delay. We need a cowbell or something? I wish if I had a subwoofer here, I'd just be like, yo, the bass line is mad. Moldy cheese, of course I'm gonna sample that. Sub bass is actually within this. I want breaks from it. I don't think the second note is quite right, so we might have to change that. Four sound right. What are these titles? If we can sample this, this could sound real aesthetic. Please be a minor key. I think I've always written in minor keys. I find major keys like a little bit too cheesy. I can never seem to get them right. I'm working on that, but I always stick to more like minor keys because they're more like emotional and they just sound sick. All right, sick. Why aren't I in the right channel? Okay, what note are we playing? No, I'm gonna have to get this key right. Reversed.
time. I feel like I'm just, yeah, f 54 seconds. Okay. You know what? We sampling that and we chucking it right here. <laughs> it fits so well. Let's do it again. Uh, this bit. Wait, what what no, what key do we say? No, multi cheese. That was negative four. Yeah, so we bring this down to negative four. Yo, know what? I'm gonna actually call it there because I don't know what to add yet. Well, it's time to absolutely smash this with ozone and then call it an episode yet again this was fun even though i blatantly cheated i did 20 minutes instead of 10 but this had too much potential to just be like no nah, i'm gonna stop there so yeah my genius amazes me i don't want that click of that kick so i'm fading it out or fading it in Simple. It should be sounding real good. I'm gonna turn that sub down a little bit. I'm gonna turn it back up. Anyway, I wanna play pick two because that's actually got a real good chord progression melody thing. Apart from the fact that I'm having way too much sub. Yet another 10 minute drop challenge. <laughs> no, it's 20 minutes. 20 minute drop challenge. This one is fun. Sampling's a lot of fun when you're not up against the clock because it takes a while to listen to the bits, find out what's good, to see how it works in your tune, see the ultimate like vision of how everything's gonna fit. You just, it's too hard to do that in 10 minutes. At least with like a genre 10 minute drop challenge, you can be like, yo, I'm going for this sound, I need these sorts of sounds. Rather than something just kind of like an Easter egg hunt, you never know what you're gonna get. So yeah, that was really fun. If you haven't seen the video of me listening to my old tracks from 10 minutes, to, <laughs> 10 minutes, 10 years ago. Vegeta, <laughs> what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! <laughs> like all the ones I've used in this, link will be in the description for you to have a geese at that and laugh at all my old cringy tracks. I want to say a big thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time or whatever we'll do on this channel. Have a great day and see ya.